Hello everyone. In continuation with the Fourier series, we are still dealing with the period 2 pi functions like, like interval 0 to 2 pi and this is a part 4. There are different and there are more number of parts because if each and every question we have to deal it with differently and the type of integration would be different and that is the reason the parts are more in numbers. So now if you will observe this question, this is the function e to the power x minus x in the interval 0 to 2 pi. The range is 0 to 2 pi only. And, but the function, if you will observe, it's an exponential function e to the power minus x. And this is the deduction part we have to deal with. So again, as we have done it for the first three parts, this is the first part and this is the second part. I'm making it in a different part. So f of x is equals to a0 summation of a n cos of nx plus summation of b n sin of nx n is from 1 to infinity is the Fourier series expansion for this particular function. So now out of this we have to find out a0, a n and b n to write down this particular series. So a0 is 1 upon 2 pi. So what is this? This is nothing but I have got it again l equals to pi because again we have, we have to uh, compare with 0 to 2 pi with c to c plus 2 l. Please follow the previous sessions then only it is possible for you to understand the next sessions and this session as well. So a0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi f of x dx f of x dx which is equals to so we have just written the value of the function f of x as e to the power minus 6 and then the integration of this e to the power minus 6 as minus e to the power minus 6 0 to 2 pi and after putting these limits over here uh, upper limit minus the lower limit so minus because we have got here one minus sign here we have got minus minus becomes plus and therefore the a0 is 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi upon 2 pi is the value for a0. a n is 1 upon pi the formula is a 1 by pi integration 0 to 2 pi f of x cos of nx therefore the value of f of x we have replaced as e to the power minus x cos of nx and we know that we have already used this kind of uh, integration in the previous uh, topic as Laplace transforms and all. So it's integration e to the power ax cos of bx dx is equals to e to the power ax upon a square plus b square a cos of bx plus b sine of bx. Now we have to just compare these two equations. So if I will compare e to the power minus x cos of nx with e to the power ax cos of bx, I am going to get from here I'm going to get a is equals to minus 1 and b is equals to n. a is minus 1 and b is equals to n. And accordingly, we have to just find out this. So this is a equals to minus 1. So e to the power minus x upon n that is a square plus b square that is n square plus 1 in bracket. a is minus 1 as I have told you. a is minus 1. So a is minus 1 cos of nx that is this cos of nx here plus n that is b, b is this n times sine of nx. That's all. It's very simple formula and very easy to understand. And whenever you are solving this equations or this type of integration, try to so, try to put the formula many a number of times so that automatically the formula gets learned by you. And it is 0 to 2 pi. And yes, uh, as we are, know, we are aware sine of 2 and pi and sine of 0 is 0, Therefore, what will happen in the upper limit and lower limit, we are going to get sine of nx as 0 for x for x as 2 pi and x as 0. So, for both the values, sine of nx will go to 0. And as this is going to be 0, we have to just deal with these terms. This is the only one term I have to deal with. And how that is upper limit minus the lower limit. So, e to the power x, every x been replaced as 2 pi first minus every x been replaced as 0. So if I am replacing every x by 2 pi to the power minus 2 pi upon n squared plus 1 cos of minus cos of 2 n pi minus always a minus sign will come here minus this x has been replaced as 0 so it's 1 upon n squared plus 1 cos minus cos of 0. So we have not taken this minus sign out we have kept it with cos only so this is the way to go ahead with. Then cos of 2 and pi and cos of 0 is equals to 1. We know that. We have already seen this many a times. And this cos and sine combination with 2 and pi, with n pi, with 0. This type of uh, identities you will always require while solving the Fourier series expansions. 
and therefore after solving or after this uh, just by this is so this becomes cos of q and pi is 1 this also 1 so after adjusting the terms we will be getting a n as 1 upon pi into n square plus 1 into 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi d n again the formula is same instead of cos of n x we have got sin of n x here the same thing is here e to the power x so we have just replaced f of x as e to the power minus of x sin x dx now again this is the formula which we are helping it out e to the power ax sin of bx dx is e to the power x upon a square plus b square a into sin of bx minus b into cos of bx if i'll compare again a is equals to minus 1 and b is equals to n and therefore accordingly the formula will goes as same as that what we have done it in the previous slide so it's e to the power minus x n square plus 1 minus a is minus 1 minus sin of nx minus b is n n cos of nx is equal to 2 pi again this term will go to 0 at x is equals to 2 pi and at x is equals to 0 so sin of nx with this part will go to 0 and we have to just deal with this e to the power minus x n square plus 1 into minus n cos of nx that's all and we know that this is what is the reason i have given you here and this this type of reasons i have given you each and every slide of my videos just to understand and just to have that the formula or that particular identity in front of your eyes uh, instead of me writing it on a board. So e to the power minus of 2 pi upon n square plus 1 minus of n cos of 2n. So every x we are replacing here, every x we are replacing as 2 pi first minus every x we are replacing as 0. The same way what we have done. Again the same identity. So this cos 2n pi is 1, cos of 0 is also 1. And we will be getting the identity as n upon pi into n square plus 1 into 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi. And therefore, this after just putting this a0, an and bn in this particular formula, we will be getting f of x as 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi upon 2 pi which is a0 plus. Now out of an, this part is this part is independent of n. Independent of n, there is no n present here. So this, ident this term, we can take it outside the summation side. But whenever there is some n present in particular function or any term, that we cannot take it out. And therefore, summation of 1 upon n square plus 1 cos of nx, we have kept it inside the summation sign. Similarly, this summation of n upon n square plus 1 sine of nx is there inside the summation sign, whereas 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi upon pi is outside. Yeah. And this is what is the second part which we have to uh, address. And what is it? If you observe, it's pi by 2, 1 upon sine hyperbolic pi is equals to summation of minus 1 to the power n upon n square plus 1. So if you observe this entire thing, this entire thing, I have to have uh, this x is equals to, uh, the x, uh, x should be from uh, 0 to 2 pi in such a way that I should get from this particular function or from this particular expansion i should get this type of identity here okay now i how to choose this x i have to choose that x particularly from this series only i have to observe what i need and what i don't want so accordingly we have to take a trade-off for that particular x is equals to whatever the values we have to choose now if you'll observe it's pi by 2 1 upon sine hyperbolic pi right so sine hyperbolic pi that is, that is nothing but e to the power uh, e to the power pi minus e to the power minus pi by 2. So, I, I, I want something like this. So, I want that term also in that and I want it minus 1 to the power n upon n square plus 1. So, if you will observe, I don't want this n over here. I don't want this n over here. Right? I want something like this. Might be this minus 1 to the power n will come from here. So, cos nx term. But I don't want this n. I don't want any n over here. So if you will observe there is no n present over here. And therefore I have to choose my x in such a way that sine of nx or this, this the third term or this term the third term should go to 0. And the remaining term I can adjust with to this. So if it is if you will observe x is equals to pi. So sine nx this term will go to 0 at x is equals to pi. And we have to choose x in such a way that the other things will also get satisfied. Now, if you observe here, x is equals to pi. So, if I am taking cos of n 
pi and we know that cos of n pi is always minus 1 to the power n and therefore if you observe this term I want it here and therefore we have taken x is equals to pi looking into this so if I am putting this f of x, equal, x is equals to pi in this particular it is f of pi and this entire thing as I have told is sine of nx because of this it will go to 0 and cos of nx will give me so cos of n pi will give me minus 1 to the power n and rest of the things are there therefore e to the power minus pi because f of x f of x is equals to e to the power minus of x so x been replaced as pi so e to the power minus pi and the entire thing will be here now if you observe this entire thing here it is n equals to 2 n equals to 2 so this series is uh, starting from or this particular this this term is from n equals to 2 so that means what n equals to 1 for n equals to 1 the term has been taken out so if I am putting n equals to 1 here in this entire thing what what am I going to get if n equals to 1 I am going to get it from this particular it's minus 1 to the power 1 upon 1 square plus 1 right so this is nothing but minus 1 by 2 I am going to get it from here which is been written over over here and n is moving from 2 n is equals to 2 because it's been given or it's been asked to me in the deduction part itself it, it, that is it is n equals to 2 and therefore we have taken n equals to 1 this half minus half outside and then that term will get adjusted with the other to, to get this deduction part yeah and then this is uh, it's a minus half and this is entire thing so it's if you'll observe here uh, because of this minus half 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi upon pi 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi upon 2 pi will go off because 1 is positive 1 is negative right and what we what we will have we will have it here so if you will observe this term is getting multiplied and that will be minus with exactly same as this term minus of this term so that term and this term will go off and will remain here with 1 minus e to the power minus 2 pi upon pi and this term here which is equals to so this will come this this entire term will would come to the other side as pi upon e to the power uh, pi upon so e to the power minus pi has been uh, come into the denominator as e to the power pi so if i get multiply this e to the power of pi with this entire thing i'm going to get it as pi upon so if this is just a multiplication with e to the power pi with this and this second term right and so it's pi upon e to the power pi minus e to the power minus pi which is equals to this and this is nothing but this is nothing but as i have told you sin hyperbolic pi is nothing but e to the power pi minus e to the power minus pi by 2 and this is what the identity we have used it here that's all so it's pi by 2 1 upon sin hyperbolic pi is equals to this which is the proof for the second deduction so that is the second uh, part of this example so it's very simple provided you should understand uh, the Fourier series from the day one or you can say you have to understand the Fourier series topic from the beginning then only it's possible for you to understand the entire thing and this is a self-observation slide with two examples e to the power ax in 0 to 2 pi and f of x is square root of uh, actually you need not to go for the exponential but yes this question is plays uh, this question is also very important uh, to understand this entire thing okay, along with the answers when we given and this is also I'm providing just to understand but understand why this has been uh, come as x is equals to 0 understand that then it's very simple for you to go ahead with Fourier series okay thank you happy learning